Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Doom video. And today, I'm going to bring you guys another trading method, and this one's going to be revolving around the current marquee matchups that are available for the next two days. So over the weekend, giving you guys plenty of time to go and make some good profit. Obviously, you can complete them. It's like 25,000 coins or so to do, I think, and you get some decent rewards. But we're actually going to be trading with the players needed for these SBCs. So going and looking at the different teams involved, we've got Real Madrid against Atletico Madrid, Bordeaux against Metz, Lech Poznan against Legia Warsaw, and also Cologne against Borussia Mönchengladbach. So those are the different teams involved. You guys can see all the different requirements, and that's what we're going to be basing the different sniping filters on. As always with any of the sniping videos that I do make, normally there are lots and lots of other different sniping filters that you guys can kind of come up with as you go along with the method. I normally show about five or six of the best ones, and then there's still loads of different combinations. You guys can kind of find different combinations of quality, position, nation, league, and price to kind of find your own sniping filters so that you don't really have too much competition doing it, because if I showed just every single different potential sniping filter it would kind of ruin the method a bit so instead you guys can kind of find your own different ones but this one works really well for me it's Ligue 1 defenders who are French and uh, gold and you want to go to about 700 coins because you do need French players for the SBC I believe you need five or six and if you guys see right here these cards are currently going for around 700 coins you can get the rare cards for about 700 coins but there are a few cards that go for a little bit less so for example this guy here he's probably already been bought but so uh, yeah you could get him sell him on easily for around about 200 coins profit and uh, there's loads of different cards here so all you need to do is either try and snipe them for under 700 coins or you can just uh, go to your transfer targets and back by pressing Y on Xbox and then back and uh, yeah you're then going to see any new cards that come up in the 59th minute and for me this is a bit quicker just because I've got quite slow internet because I'm on holiday in France right now so all you then need to do is try and snipe some of these cards 350 coins for a Cobra and an Armour I mean, they came off about five seconds late, so I missed them. But that would have been some really nice profit on both of them. That would have been pretty much doubling my coins there. So you guys can see, lots of players come up. So I'm going to try this for a minute or two, see if we can get any deals. Can we get that one? There we go, 450 coins. Already we've got a Palmieri. And I'm going to be able to sell this guy on for 700 coins. And that's going to be a couple of hundred coins profit there after the attack. Around 250 coins, maybe a tiny bit less after tax so that's not too bad at all list them up on the market and instantly i've already managed to get myself a deal and there's so many different players getting listed up and you can have rare gold cards come up too i mean 350 coins there for another gold card but you can have cards like uh, even someone like kozawa or Aurier, for example from psg who goes for like 2,000 coins or so they could come up even someone like marquinhos could i mean i've seen yanga and biwa come up lots of different players i mean just pretty much any defender because you're sniping them for 700 coins you're getting any gold cards as well who are rare so lots of different cards can come up they may they not always go for 700 coins, depends when you are watching this video, they may have dropped down in price, so you may have to try and snipe these guys for maybe a little bit less, I'm not sure, they may go for like 600 coins or so, but it's Sidibe right there for 700, and a Mendy for 650, and we've picked up two more deals, I can sell Mendy on, he goes for a tiny bit more, I'll sell him for around 750 coins, and uh, I need to actually check how much Sidibe sells for. So I just checked on Footbin, and Sidibe is currently selling for around 1,000 coins as a minimum by now, so I'm going to sell him on there, that's going to be 250 coins profit, off the attacks. And I've spent not even a minute doing this so far. There's another card for 350, but I've spent no time at all doing this and already managed to get, I think, three deals and made some really good profit on all of them. And there's just so many cards going up. This really is a great filter for you guys to go and use right now. Staying in Ligue 1, the next filter is going to be actually sniping players from Mets and also from Bordeaux, as those are the two teams that you do need. And all you need to do is just find what these cards are selling for as the lowest by now. So it seems to be around about 1.4k as of right now on the market. So you guys can try and either get these cards a little bit cheaper, so go down to about 1.2. There's a deal already coming up on the market. 1.1 for a Jufra right there. And I should be able to sell him on for around about 1.3, just undercutting. It's going to be around about 150 coins profit after tax. Not too bad there. So I'm going to list him up there. And there's loads and loads of other cards you can potentially get. So you just want to find, there we go, 350 for an Erdenek. We've got a card instantly, guys. You guys can see how effective this method is. It's absolutely crazy. I can sell him on now. For, I'll sell him for 1.2 for a quick sell, but that's nearly a thousand coins profit. Simple as that. Another card there, 1.2 for a Diagne. No one's using this filter right now, guys. And that's what I'm talking about, where I kind of show you guys a few filters, and then you can kind of make your own ones, because you can go and try and snipe players from any of the different teams required for this SBC, and potentially make yourself 
a few coins without too many other people really trying those filters so there's a few on the market now if you see a uh, kind of maybe two or three cards on the market for a certain kind of price this is where you can then use the transfer target sniping method and 950 there for a diabete we've just missed out on him we've got the orange circle meaning uh, we were very very close on him but all you need to do is just press y and b like this on xbox on playstation the controls are slightly different but all you do just go to your transfer targets and back and you do this whenever there's a few cards on the market and then you're going to see whenever a card gets list up and simple as that we get a Jufra right there for 400 coins and I can sell them on nice and quickly here for 1.3 and that's going to be nearly a thousand coins profit and this filter right here is actually crazy there's another card there for 400 coins I think it's the Jufra though I just uh, missed out on or just picked up rather um, but you guys can see so many cards are being listed up and this is actually one of the best filters I've used recently you're making a thousand coins profit on a lot of cards because a lot of these cards are going to be listed for about 400 coins or so because no one really thinks they go for this much so you can make some really really easy profit on them. you also do need Bordeaux players to complete the SBC as well as the Mets players I think you need one from each team so those have obviously gone up in price as well they're currently around 1.1k so a pretty similar price right here and again all you need to do go to the 59th minute or just go to the kind of the minimum price where you've got a few cards on the market press Y on Xbox and then B simple as that if you guys don't know this kind of sniping method it is so so useful and I will really would recommend using this one here because it, it just helps you snipe these cards so so quickly and uh, even I've got really like me I've got really laggy internet right now so I can't snipe normally but if I do this it works really fine so if the servers are quite slow it's a really easy way of uh, sniping players so you guys can see there are still cards being listed up with this one and uh, I'll be back when I get a deal 950 coins there on a tool and we've just missed out on him but uh, that would have been some nice profit too because he's I think the highest rated card from Bordeaux and he's a he's a rare gold card and he's French as well so could have potentially been uh, even more expensive due to obviously being French and you do need French players for the SBC Malcolm there that's 1.1k so I, I mean I could sell him for like 100 coins profit because he goes for about 1.2 but still that's not the best a roll in there for a thousand coins as well that's not amazing I could still make a bit of profit on him he has already been picked up but um, there 400 coins for a Roland missed out on a Roland right there 400 coins but you guys can see again lots of cards are being listed up with this one seems to be a few people trying this filter out though so it's a little bit harder but you guys have seen players come up with it so let's move on to the next filter heading over to spain with the madrid derby there's some really good sniping filters that can make you a good amount of coins there so the main one i'd recommend using is trying to snipe real madrid players just the cheapest real madrid players on the market and all you need to do is just go real madrid and uh, put the price around 800 coins or so so you guys can see there are a couple of cards on the market and you're going to be seeing a basic any of the non-rare cards so you've got uh, people like Nacho the centre-back you've got Casilla and a couple of others I think Vasquez has a non-rare card too uh, and you're also going to see because you're sniping for over 700 coins you're going to see any kind of rare gold cards being listed up too so you've got Vasquez with his upgraded card you've got Danilo who you can obviously see right here uh, you've got people like Quarren Trowell you've got pretty much anyone I mean you, you could get lucky and see like a Rafael Varane being listed up loads of different cards can come up right now so all you need to do try and snipe the cards here and I'll be back when I get a deal and we've already missed out on one there 500 coins for a Casilla that would have been some nice profit but you guys can get a lot of rare gold cards with this filter so that's why uh, it's a really really good one you can potentially make a huge amount of coins on some of the cards you get I mean Asensial there one of him's just come up there and there's another one here but I'm not going to pick that one up just I don't want to get too many of him because if I get like three or four list them all up, list them all up on the market it's going to drop his price down but he goes for around a thousand coins so i can list him up there it's not a huge amount of profit it's about 100 coins but still that's not too bad and more cards are being listed up pretty much all the time so all we need to do is try and snipe one of them just missed out on a quarant trail right here for 750 coins could have been a really good deal because he obviously is going to go for more than 850 as that's all we're sniping the cards for so you'd expect i'd say around a thousand coins so film let's check his price quickly yeah about a thousand coins seems to be what he's selling for so that would have been a decent deal and he was going for 750 so that would have been about 300 coins profit and nacho right here i'll get him because there's no no other ones here and he's pretty much the only affordable center back uh, and also he, he's one of the higher rated ones you can get here so what's he what's he selling for around 900 coins there we go so we've got him for 800 i'll list him up for 950 as that's what he's selling for there it's going to be 100 coins profit on him not huge but um, I'll take that because mainly I'm just kind of waiting for someone like Casemiro or Kovacic to come up as I was about to say Kovacic he comes up and that was his upgraded card too that goes for like one and a half K or so or about 1.2 I think and yeah we just missed out on one there for like 800 coins so if one more player comes up and I miss them I'll move on to the next filter because again seems like a few people are trying this out and I mean as long as you guys see cards are coming up with these 
that's all good because I'm not the best at sniping. So I'm sure you guys will be able to get plenty of deals using these. But I'll see if I can get one player or at least see if one comes up. And then we can move on to the next filter. And there we go. Kovacic has come up and Kasia. We missed out on Kasia. But there we go. We've got Kovacic. He goes for 1.2k. So I'll list him up. As long as that's his upgraded card. Yeah, it's 81. So that's going to be 350 coins profit. Like 340 coins, I think, after tax. I'll see if I can get this Quarant Trial quickly. Yes, we can. Can we get this card here? No, we can't. Okay, so Quarant Trial, he goes for 1,000 coins, as we saw earlier. I got him for 850. That's going to be 100 coins profit there. 100 coins doesn't seem like much, but it just kind of keeps your coin balance ticking over. Add some more coins to your account. And look at this. A whole whole load of Quarant Trials have just been listed up. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be able to sell these on for 1,000 coins each. So that's not bad there. And it doesn't seem like much profit, 100 coins, but... As long as you just keep making a small amount of profit, that's going to keep increasing your coin balance. And then you're going to be getting good deals, making you like a thousand coins or so on some of the cards you get. So just increase your coin balance. So I'll take 100 coins profit, even 50 coins profit. It's all good because it's profit. The penultimate sniping filter that I'm going to be showing you is in Poland in the Extra Laza. And you're going to be sniping gold Polish players for a thousand coins or so. It may be a little bit cheaper depending when you're watching this video. But you do need three Polish players and one card from each of the two teams needed in the marquee matchup to complete the whole SBC so we're going to be trying to snipe gold cards needed and currently they go for a thousand coins you'll see cards being listed up a little bit cheaper kind of around the 59th minute so uh, if you see a couple on the market which I've just seen here for 950 you can actually bring the price down to 950 or so it just kind of depends on the price I mean there's two right now on the market uh, so that should be fine and then all you need to do press Y and B I mean I've shown you guys that lots but not many people seem to use this sniping filter or this sniping method rather uh, where you go to your transfer targets and back out and it works quite well so we've got a pass down he's a centre back and the two other deals that I saw there were right backs and also for a thousand coins uh, it was all right backs no centre backs so that could be a decent one I will check his price and I'll sell him on in just a minute but 350 there for a uh, yeah Jarek. I think that's I've, I've, I don't think that's how you pronounce his name actually to be fair completely butchered that I mean I the last five letters of his name J C Z Y X uh, K not yeah, not X I mean what even is that for a name? I've no idea. But 350 coins. I can sell them on for like 950 or 1,000. That's going to be some great profit. I don't think I'm going to try and pronounce any of the guy's names that I see here though. Because I mean, his names, it's literally just someone's hit their head against a keyboard when they were naming him. But here we go. Can we get one more deal? Can we get one more? I'll be back when I get one. 350 coins again there for a... That guy there, which we're not going to try and pronounce. I mean, that's a really good deal. And again, another one for 350. You guys can see right here. These are all the deals we've managed to get. So Pazdan, I'm going to check his price. Um, I think he's a little bit more expensive. I think he is a bit more because I didn't see any on the market earlier on. So he actually goes for 1.5k, 1.2 there. It was one for 1.2, but I'll list him up for 1.2. That's going to be easy coins on him. But these two deals here, these are really good ones because 350, I can sell him for 950. Easy, easy coins there. No one was out sniping me either, so this one was pretty easy. Very, very easy, actually, to be fair. So I'll list those ones there up, and this is a really good filter. Really did work well. Let's move on, though, to the final sniping filter. So for the final filter, you guys are going to be sniping silver players from both Lech Poznan and also from Legia Warsaw. Now, obviously, this isn't the, the last sniping filter you guys can use. There's loads of other ones. I've not shown you every single one that you can possibly use. There's loads of other different filters you can use. But uh, I'm not going to spoil them and kind of maybe ruin other people's methods that they're using. So you guys can just kind of be creative, find your own filters using different combinations of quality, position, league, nation and price. And just kind of find ones that work well for you and make you good coins. But this one here, as you can see, 550 coins is the current price that I'm going to try and snipe these cards for. 400 coins, there's instantly a card coming up there, first search. And all you want to do is just try and snipe these cards cheaply. You'll be seeing cards coming up though for like 200 coins or so pretty often there in the 59th minute and you can make some really good coins on them 450 there and that guy is polish as well so that's pretty good because the polish guards always go for a bit more 350 there for a kokalovic i think that's how you pronounce that guy's name i'm not too sure but i mean loads of cards coming up right here hardly ain't done any searches and uh, already like three cards is that three cards have come up not bad at all but there that kind of shows that feel, so that works pretty well. And then the next one that I said is doing exactly the same, but with players from Legia Warsaw. So I'm going to quickly check this guy's price. He's a silver card, so there aren't going to be too many on the market. He goes for 800 coins, so that's really, really easy. I'm going to sell him for 750. That's going to be a nice bit of profit on him. And then this guy here, I'm going to sell on for, let's go 700. So that's, again, going to be easy profit there. And this guy is Polish and also plays for... 
Um, is this less Poznan or Leisure Warsaw? I think this is less Poznan. So he goes for 700 coins. So that's again easy profit on him. I'll list him up right there and uh, some very, very easy coins. And as I said, you guys can also try and snipe players from the cards came up there, but you can also try and snipe cards from Leisure Warsaw and just try and find them in them by now. So it's a very similar price. And all you guys need to do press Y and B in the 59th minute. If, if you guys are on PlayStation and know the controls for this, where you go to transfer targets and back, leave a comment down below because I'm not too sure what they are and um, it would kind of help like everyone else who's on um, obviously PlayStation because they may not know what I'm talking about with this. But again, I mean, you guys get the idea. I probably don't need to do this to get any deals because you guys have already seen how well it works. All you need to do, just press Y and B. You'll see cards go up on the market. You pick them up. It's as simple as that. You can obviously get cards on bid using pretty much all these same filters, but with the maximum price rather than a maximum buy now and try and bid on them i mean you can do that if you want if you don't like sniping personally though sniping works really well for me so there we go that is going to be it really i've shown you guys how effectively uh, these different sniping filters can work so hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you have don't forget to leave a like on it if you could smash 250 likes i must say a huge target but if we could smash 250 likes that would be awesome i would very very much appreciate that but uh, yeah hope you guys enjoy leave a like if you did subscribe if you are new around here don't forget to click the bell button next to the subscribe button as well to notify you whenever i do upload a video or go live with a live stream but, yeah hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you in my next video take care